Hi, I'm Don Stavely, and I'm here at Backbone Studio with Jason Larson, uh, here to introduce you to the QF2 Analog Multiband Distortion Pedal from Iron Ether. Um, the key idea behind this pedal is that it divides the guitar signal into uh, four different bands that are graphically shown here on, on the front panel, uh, individually distorts each of the bands, and then recombines them. So we have a a low, a low mid, a high mid, and a high uh, frequency band. Um, this is actually a, a second generation version of a pedal called the Quadrifuzz that was invented in 1985 by Craig Anderton, but it was only available as a rack mount unit and as a Cubase plug-in. So this is the first time that uh, a four band distortion pedal is available in pedal format. So what I'm going to do here is show you how all these knobs and switches uh, work here. So it seems a little intimidating at first, but I think it'll become clear as you just hear uh, how each of them affects the sound. So we'll start out in uh, with a clean mode, uh, in bypass mode. This is a true bypass, and this is what it sounds like before we engage the effect. Okay, now pressing the bypass switch, and I have distortion. And what's going on here um, is easily explained by individually looking at what happens in each of these bands. So if I turn them all down, I get no sound at all. And what I'm going to do now is audition what each of these bands sounds like and how it affects the guitar signal. This is just the lowest band, which is down about on the low E string for, for a guitar. So I just get the lowest notes and their harmonics. This is the low mid band. And this is the high mid band. And this is the very highest band. Now, there are switches associated with each one of these bands. Um, this switch on the far right here uh, changes the highest uh, filter frequency, uh, highest filter, oh, sorry, you'll have to edit that, the highest uh, frequency filter from a high pass filter to a band pass filter. And you can hear a little, a little different character to the sound. So, in high pass mode, you are getting the uh, extended highest, highest frequencies. Um, in addition to uh, the high pass and band pass switch, uh, we also have a resonance control. So if I just audition the high mid, this resonance control or cue control on the low setting has the broadest kind of filter and switching it higher makes for a peakier, more uh, resonant, more vocal sounding quality. Now, one of the cool things about this pedal is that in addition to having these four uh, filters at four different frequencies, uh, I have the ability to control where they are in uh, the frequency spectrum with this frequency knob here. So adjusting this knob changes where all these filters are and what the frequencies that they are filtering and then distorting and then recombining. So if, as I turn this, you'll hear how with this one filter engaged at a very high cue, so I get a very uh, resonant vocal quality, I can put that resonance pretty much anywhere I want. So I have a four octave range from one octave below uh, regular guitar, uh, which is appropriate for bass, all the way to two octaves uh, above a nominal kind of setting here. So now you can hear that as I add some of these other filter bands in here, I get a very full and complex sound.
right now I'm operating at a relatively low drive. I can go all the way from just a, a very uh, light crunch uh, to pretty heavy fuzz. In addition, uh, at a particular drive setting, I have the ability to uh, use the foot switch to engage additional gain. I call this switch boost, and the amount of additional gain before distortion is controlled by this toggle switch up here from either 3x, 3 times gain, uh, to 10 times the gain for a very fuzzy sound. So if I engage the boost at, uh, at the 10x setting, I go from pretty light crunch to a much fuzzier sound. And with all that boost and then cranking up the drive even further, I get a very fuzzy metal kind of sound. The other knob I haven't talked about here, uh, this is labeled mix, but it actually on a gold unit like this one, this is actually an overall tone control. And you can uh, take the edge off the highs or get a little accentuation of the highs in addition to where you have the, the higher frequency settings here for just a little more control. And finally, uh, this is a standard volume now that just controls the output level that allows you to. Uh, between your bypass sound and your uh, engaged effect sound.